Oh, man. Okay, I gotta think of a, big, a better game to play than this, because it's not a platformer. Nope, too bad. I want to play it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have this still set up and working. Y'all want to see the first game I ever one credit cleared in arcades? The actual arcade cabinet? Question number two. Can you guess what that game is? It's not Snacks and Jackson. That would be Twisted. <laughs> or Munchmobile. Y'all giving me a lot of credit here. I wish I could say Tower of Draga was the first game I cleared 1cc as like a three-year-old or whatever. Skee-ball. Ghouls and Ghosts? No, that was something I only learned many, many, many years later. Yeah, it's Smash TV. Rachel's got it. It's Smash TV. <laughs> oh, people will never stop asking BBH to 1cc that. It's not Smash TV. Not Ghosts and Goblins. I don't think anyone's even close to guessing this. Not that you should. So this game came out in the 1990s. It was a game that my local arcade had, and I saw a lot of people play it. And through watching people play it, I eventually figured out how to do the 1cc. On real hardware, with actual quarters, on the real damn thing. <laughs> Also, if you've never seen this game, prepare to have your mind blown. We have good RAM. Gotta clear that EEPROM. We're spinning up the laser disc. The disc is on. Greetings. I am Kyla, Princess of the Galactic Federation. I've journeyed through time to find you. We need your help. This is Volcor. A renegade scientist whose forbidden experiments have created a time disruptor that threatened to rend the very fabric of time. Our computers have selected Marshall Graham to be our champion, but without your help, he cannot succeed. You are our last hope to defeat Volcor. I beg you, help us. Yeah, I got the feeling nobody was going to guess this one. <laughs> If you've ever seen the cabinet for this, this is like, man. To save the universe, navigate the streams of time to the year 20. This is like young Danny Catnip. Your quest begins. A laserdisc arcade game, delivered via hologram technology. Just remember, partner, winners don't use drugs. Remember, winners don't use drugs. Sega. This doesn't seem like a Sardus game. There's a lot that's surprising about me. <laughs> I wasn't good at arcade games, but I could watch other people play them and see the mistakes they made. So, uh, eventually you do learn how to play this. This won't be a 1cc. I just wanted to play it. Let's see how far I get. Yeah, remember, don't use drugs! This is your first adventure. Select learn. Let's learn. Wise choice, adventurer. Now listen carefully, and I will guide you. If you are not facing an enemy, I guess this is a platformer because sometimes you jump. But you need to be quick. If anyone comes in and Get says uh, right it's not a platformer, shoot. you tell them turn that. Turn right, shoot. Next is left and shoot. Turn left, shoot. 
When there are dangers oh, this main avoided, version plays so nice. It's so much better than the DVD video the version they made. Get ready to move left. Now left. Yeah, it's platform Next again, eligible. Right. Look at this. <laughs> Look Get at this jumping. Duck. Duck. Some enemies cannot be shot. Now watch for the blue flashes. Get ready to move right. Now right. Next is jump. Jump! It's time to attack! Attack! Remember what you've learned. Volcor must be stopped. It's an FMV game and it uses a laser disc. This is one of the last uh, arcade games to use a, a laser disc to player. Begin, you have one time reversal cube. <laughs> when are we ranking this? Not a bad idea. If I'd put it die, at the top of the list. Use the cube to reverse time and escape death. To save the universe. Scratching way, thank you for gifting the sub to Obscuratory. I appreciate it. Obscuratory, enjoy your Osaka emotes. And also enjoy this very normal video game. It's mighty quiet around here, huh? Oh. Hey! Hey! Uh, it's mighty quiet around here. Too quiet. <laughs> Do, do, do. I cannot explain to you just how much better this plays than the DVD video version. It's so crisp. Would you like to buy some time reversal cubes? Yeah, sure. Mm. I got money. Thank you. Mm. That's all you can buy now. Come back later. So by putting quarters into the cabinet, you can buy time reversal cubes, which allows you to reverse your deaths. Spent all day working on serious stuff. This is a good break, then. Uh, hope that moon don't cause no crazies to come out now. Seems a little uh, deranged, unhinged, that sort of thing. I think you just push right here, right? Yeah. I still remember so much of this. Let's go to the Age of Magic. I hope I don't see the mushroom wizard. Oh shit! Expert, thank you for the sub. Good time to subscribe, too. <laughs> Appreciate it, thank you. Yeah, we definitely needed to shoot that guy like 50 times. Oh, oh shit, time warp. This apparently is supposed to happen, that thing in the last scene and this thing here. Like, it looks and sounds like the laser disc player is skipping, but apparently it's intentional in some revisions of the game. For the for the record, the version I played as a kid did not have that. I think it's just in later revisions. Also, this robot they modeled for this, I used to literally have this as a kid. His name is Magic Mike. I am the Dizzle, thank you for the follow. Uh, you like duck hair, right? Trying to get me on that one no, don't call the hype train. This guy would shoot it. Hmm, what the? Don't do uh -huh. that. Huh. Let's see here. Yeah. 
Ugh, I miss the 90s. Shit used to always be like this in real life. Oh, well, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. This cowboy is gay now. Uh, like duck? Nope. Oh. Ow. Let's run that back. That was me using a time reversal cube. Had to do it. Had to do it. Ow! Run it back. Second game in a row with cave women, you're right. Uh oh. Play my game. What do you think? Just pull the lever. <laughs> I'll play. <gasps> no. Okay. Whew. If you get three skulls, it's instant game over. And uh, this is a dip switch setting, which wasn't on the uh, cabinet that I saw as a kid. Oh, this part's fucking impossible! Shit. Okay, duck, then jump. This is the hardest error in the game for sure. We'll get him. What? This game's totally normal. Ain't you ever played an FMP cowboy game before? No, what's up? Ow! He got my pancreas. And then up. And then punch. Alright, we got him. Run it back. What do I do after that, you suppose? Okay, it's left. And then and then you gotta hit sword, otherwise you get killed. Your score has earned you a place in the time traveler hall of fame. Oh boy! Your initials. <laughs> Check it out. I'm gonna enter ass. Take that hologram. Sega. All right, not a bad first credit. I can probably clear this. I bet you I can clear this on the next run. Let's do that. The nice thing about this game is that there's a lot of alternate scenes in each era, so you're not just gonna see the same shit every time. This is your first adventure. Select learn. To begin, you have one time reversal cube. You will need more. How many people are seeing this for the first time die. right now? <laughs> I've just been kind of downplaying this as a normal game from childhood, but there's probably at least one person out there who is extremely disturbed by what they're seeing. <laughs> Dog IRL, you? Okay, good. Scratching away, you too. This nice. I'm glad, I'm glad to be y'all's first exposure to Time Traveler, one of my favorite arcade games. Feels normal for a Danny game. Uh, it's quiet around here. Can't dispute Too it. Quiet. All right, let's load up on cubes. Oh yeah, since I game overed, I actually lost like a dollar fifty on that. Welcome, adventurer. Would you like to buy some time reversal cubes? Give me cubes. Mm, thank Give you. Give me more. Mm, thank you. That's all you can buy now. Alright, we have seven cubes. We should be good. Let's 
just that one area, 1350, is so freaking hard. Back to 1998. Keep in mind, this was the uh, near future when this game was released. What? Rude. Yes! Cause no crazies to come out now. <laughs> Surely he knows what baseball is, right? <laughs> well, he felt threatened, you see. He was. He just suddenly teleported in and saw people with bats and balls, and he just. I can too. Look, let let he who has never teleported into a baseball game and then in a panic murdered everyone around him. Let him cast the first stone. Maybe like right? Or shoot? It's not shoot. I think it's actually turn left and shoot. That's something this game does. Dadgum moon causing dadgum crazies to come out. Yeah, 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 okay, good. It's okay to murder some ancestors. That was a cool looking dragon. I solved the prehistoric era. I solved it. I'll take your cubes. Creepy pasta video about the lost Sega game where you murder a baseball team. <laughs> a lot of people would be pretty surprised by that nowadays. Actually, I guess they were back then too, if anyone bothered to play this. I like how he constantly talks to himself like he's Popeye or something. Ooh, uh, looks like that guy turned into a spaceship or something. Well, that's pretty weird. Come, play my game. Mm. Just pull the lever. <laughs> Ostrog, never heard of that. All right, we're playing. Hey! <laughs> you won! <laughs> I got a free life! <laughs> Love how much of this game involves shooting random people. <laughs> that's the only verb this cowboy has. He can shoot, and that's about it. Sword. Ow, my neck. Duck then sword. <laughs> Gotta duck again. Duck, sword, sword, duck. <laughs> you too, wizard. Fuck everybody. Fuck the past. None shall pass your funeral. Rip out to die. Whoops. That was a oh, right in the right in the groin region. 
Don't swing there. That's actually a miss if you swing there. Interesting. All right. So left. Then swing. I get it. I get it. I get it. He said just a flesh wound. The old groinal attack. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to see that. to see the normal version of this scene. So the time disruption is a intended mechanic. That's so... That's so this game. We gotta go back in. Okay, we gotta mash. <laughs> I don't know why we have to mash, but we did. Hey, BBH. I know you know this game, and I know that you know it's one of my favorites. You get around to 1C scene this? Shit. Uh, where am I? Nice, nice. It's a good one. Shit. Left. I have no cubes left. Not a fan. Oh man, I'm so close to the end. I'm gonna beef it. Remember us, Marshall? You killed our brother. <laughs> That's the end of Marshall Graham. <laughs> Yeah, I have 1cc'd this way, way back in the past. I hope to get there again at some point. It's like Murphy getting killed by Robocop. Hey, Princess Susanna, yep. It is one of the video games that were made. I biffed the fuck out of it. They didn't give me a chance to buy extra cubes. What's, what's the deal with that? 36? 36. I've journeyed through time to find you. We need your help. This is Volcor, a renegade oh, okay. forbidden experiment. This must have been the setting for the version I played. That threatened to rend the very fabric of time. Our computers have selected Marshall Graham to be our champion, but without your help, he cannot succeed. Let's see if I can beat this with 36 time reversal cubes. <laughs> this is your first adventure. So no, I know how to play. We got this. I think I think this run is going to be successful. Just just uh, if you die, just call it a hunch. Use the cube to reverse time and escape. Mm, thank you. Would you like to buy another? To save the universe. Now 
Now, we've all played the 36 cubes from the outside. But to play from within, oh ho. All right, lady. I'm bringing in a sack full of quarters here. Would you like to buy? <laughs> I'm really sorry about this. <laughs> Thank you. Would you like to buy another? You can buy more. That's all you can buy now. Come back later. Look, I had to. We, we now have 41 retries at these stages. I think we're good. Let's see if we can get the baseball stage again. <laughs> good soundscape. <laughs> That was the fastest 1998 I've ever seen in this game. It's true, world record incoming. Got his ass. Yeah, there's zombies in 1998. Let's do this again. Is that what it said? 1998 was the post-Holocaust? <laughs> yeah, we dodged a bullet there. No, don't put me into the bog. Stab. <laughs> hey, Flannel Cat. Okay, you know what a good game is then. I freaking love Time Traveler. I was saying earlier, this is the earliest, this is the first arcade game I ever won credit cleared in the arcade from watching other people play it. So, uh, it's a personal favorite. Oh, you gotta turn before you shoot. Beyond Primate, thank you for the follow. Remember in the past, when there was just fire? <laughs> Only ever seen it in one arcade. Yeah, it's pretty rare. The one that was in my arcade as a kid was eventually converted into a Holosseum, which was a, uh, a very terrible fighting game that they put in these cabinets. No! Fuck off! Fuck off! Really? I have 41 Bam. time reversal cubes. I put $20 into the machine. Unbelievable. Game over, please insert 40 quarters. This is Volcor, a renegade scientist That's apparently very rare. Uh, we're all very lucky that we got to see that happen in real time. Uh, do I not want another run? Of course I do. Time Traveler speedrun, let's go. I can't freaking believe the game 
gave me three freaking skulls and took away my 40 time reversal cubes. Quiet around here, huh? Hey, Big Bear's Cave. <laughs> yep, you got to see it. Too quiet. quiet. Alright, watch this tumbleweed. There it goes. Let's see if we can get another god 1988. Actually, let's let's load up on cubes again. There's a dip switch to enable you will that allows you to get up to 40 cubes, so that's what I'm doing. That's all you can buy now. Uh, uh, I mean, by 41, I meant 73. Um, uh, uh, huh? What? Hmm? No, we're good. If you mash, you could get 97. <laughs> I'm glad you discovered that. That's awesome. Yes! Cause no crazies to come out now. <laughs> Whoops. That's fine, we got the cubes. Yeah, shot everybody. I think earlier someone confirmed that baseball was a thing from uh, the time period this guy was from. Oh no, drug time warp! Drugs partner. He just hates baseball, yeah. <laughs> National pastime, my ass. Actually, let's show what happens when you die here. Oh, okay. You could have used a time reversal cube. I think I think the other colored robot does something different. Doing all deaths run of this game someday. Like I did for Wirehead. Wirehead, there's a game with some good deaths. Chroma Keen, this game? Yeah, I remember you doing that actually. <laughs> That's That was really good. <laughs> It's just designed in such a way, it, it, it accommodates streamers. Very nice of them, very forward-thinking. It's, it's easy, just left, right, right. BB before baseball. Can you imagine such a time? Let's see this again. <laughs> they used to make stupid games in the 90s. <laughs> Say stupid, I meant good. <laughs> well, now let's see. Here All right, time to mash. Oh, 
the scene. Yeah, yeah. Normal. Come. Oh no, you no. We're not gonna play this game. <laughs> not this time, Satan. Alright, time for the hardest level. I think you have to wait for the third one, actually. Oh, duck it, actually. Alright, I got it. I get what you're throwing at me, game. He's naked! Fucking wizards. Ooh. Hey, first try. Remember this guy? Hey Arnold Rimmer, you made it. This is gonna be my last attempt. I have 69 cubes, so I think we have a good chance. 68, I mean. Oh, that's right, you gotta wait on the swing. Yeah! Yeah, there's a dip switch that allows you to get up to 40 cubes, but if you mash, you can get up to 90, apparently. I'm learning new tech about this game. This is a bad scene to have this happen on. Oh! With the teleport! Shit! Okay, left, then down. Up. Yeah, we got it. <laughs> Should have dodged the lightning, idiot. Alright, that's a duck, I think. Actually, it's a zombie. That's a left. Shit! Ah! Duck! <laughs> My cubes! And then right! Man, this seems complicated. No, it's down! Okay, left and down. Hey! All my cubes gone. <laughs> Arrgh, he says. That's down twice. Then up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember when he got fucking murdered? <laughs> you got it! BAM! <laughs> You're not supposed to shoot there. Murphigator! Murphigator, thank you so much for the raid. You were just in time for the thrilling finale of 
<laughs> Sega's Time Traveler, the FMV hologram arcade game. Spoilers incoming. What were you up to? I hope you had a good stream. Oh, that's a duck. We got a duck there. If you've never seen this, this is a video game from 1991. Uh, the most normal video game of the year, according to Video Games and Computer Entertainment. <laughs> yeah, I was playing platformers, but then I got then I got the idea to play this. Okay, don't don't go right there. Yeah, this weird thing. This is a hell of a game. Actually, I think you shoot again there. Oh, thank you for shouting out Murphigator. I appreciate it. For sure we hit down there. Oh, it's left. It's left and you have to wait. Timing is actually pretty important in this game. I did it again. Okay, right, down, then left. Oh, it punishes you for extra inputs. I'm discovering a lot. And then down. Yeah, do not mash here. I just found that out. With that, GG. That's the end of the most normal video game ever made. If you've never seen the actual cabinet of this, make sure to look it up. It's a it's a hell of a thing. It's a dance party with crunchy audio. Definitely 1cc this, now that I've de-rusted. Not tonight, but it will happen. Oh. <laughs> hey boys. Oh, the baseball players are okay, and they're in medieval times. It all worked out. <laughs> Special thanks to Magic Mike. Congratulations! Your score has earned you a place in the Time Traveler Hall of Fame. Have I seen the Easter eggs? I don't think I have. Man, what a good game. I think now I'm in shape to finally one credit clear this again, now that it's emulated in MAME. I just needed a few runs through the uh, the various stages. We know what you did, Magic Mike. 